Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse and this video is about my experience when it came to the Division Beta and the One-Eyed General there. And to be honest, it's why I've gone out and purchased the full game in time for tomorrow's release. Now I should probably mention that I have pre-ordered the HTC Vi VR headset, but that's for another video. Now the Division is a pretty intense game and though it offers some interesting storyline missions and some co-op fun, the real nitty gritty part of the game is in the contaminated zone, also known as the dark zone which I'm in currently. And it's important to note that any human player can turn against you and go rogue at any moment in a PvP format. And it is so terribly frustrating, especially when you first got into it, like I did then. Uh, as there's no real reason to be, be killed off when you have no loot. But it is what makes the game amazing, like totally mesmerizing. Combat is pretty smooth, pretty fun, and this was the beta of course. There's still up updates going to be coming with the full game. And the, the weapon customization is absolutely uh, awesome. Like, there are so many attachments you can add to it which give you a little um, bonus when it comes to the actual game. But playing solo in the contaminated zone is absolutely terrifying. You're constantly having to watch your back and you never know what your next encounter will bring. Uh, will it create a new friendship? Or is it going to end up with you losing your most valuable piece of loot that you found after the last two hours in the dark zone. Like what just happened to me there. 15 seconds. That was not very No, good. it wasn't. Yeah, I know. That's too fun. Yeah, very funny. These heartbreaking encounters make the game mesmerizing and wanting more constantly. It also gives you and other kind-hearted players a litany of hate towards anyone that's turned rogue and you will literally tra chase them down the streets to no end trying to take them out. Which in all fairness does create some unique and hilarious in-game moments such as when all non-rogue players in an area chase after that one person who went rogue and pretty much ganging up on anyone else who does turn against you as you see here. It's amazing how a community can come together to take down one it person. It really is, it really is. <laughs> and this was probably one of my most favorite moments oh in God. the game. I thought there was plenty. Hold on, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I think there was one other guy. We have ten let's people drop. going after this one guy. Let us drop an incendiary grenade that starts rampaging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just kidding, don't you? <laughs> There's also nothing better than uh, roaming the streets as a pack and hunting the prey. The only problem is it is incredibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> easy to turn rogue as you just saw there with a few accidental shots which will end up all of your friends turning against you and this guy just turned against us so we took him out anyway I can see this game having some really interesting community right, events later on in the, in the uh, game. And there were a few bugs at this point. My um, it showed up that I had loot when I didn't, which is a bit annoying because it does uh, point you out as a potential threat. And the other big problem is when one of your teammates, you can have squads of up to four, four people I think it is, it might be five, uh, I think it's four, and then everyone turns against you because one of your friends, or if you just met them in game, 
one of your um, strangers who decided to team up with you decided to turn rogue. And that turns the whole team rogue, which does give some interesting situations. Um, as you see there, I just turned rogue and then waited for the timer to uh, stop so that I could get the extra points and bonus experience from it. In the actual storyline campaigns, there are some rather interesting missions and you can replay them on hard difficulty as we're doing here for the extra bonus experience and loot. And in the dark zone, you find that some people tend to camp in areas which you can't get at and you can try your best, you can't throw grenades up there, so I decided it would be an amazing idea to try and go over the rope. Unfortunately, no one provided covering fire and I died rather quickly. But I think once the full game's released, that won't be happening so much as they will have all the pathways fully opened out. Now, one thing in the contaminated zone is loot is hard to find, but when you find a dark key and they are rare, that was the only one I found during the beta, you can go up to dark zone crates like this one and get some really good loot. I got this laminate bag, which I do believe is a rare item uh, with its blue. And when you do finally actually uh, extract the loot, it gives you such a good feeling. I can't explain it, knowing that so many people turn on you. Anyway guys, I hope to see you in the next video, which will be the full game, no doubt, or one of the Black Ops 3 videos that I have going. Thank you very much for watching.